Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we are going to be shoe size large from the Congo, the yellow player. We're going to be playing more of the meta settings, Europe Advanced Capitals. Now, we have Blizzards on and Fog, and I want to see the Blizzards do some funky stuff on the board right now. <gasps> they did. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Oh, my God. I can cap in Marseille or Alps and have a one point on Spain and France together. Wow. Wait. And then Italy. Wait, the whole bottom of the section is... Oh, my God. Please don't cap behind me. Please do not be a donkey and don't cap behind me. Please, green player. General Chumley, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Please, please, for the love of all things holy, don't cap in here. Idiot. All right, we're cheesing. We're, you think I'm not going to do this? I don't think so. Okie dokie. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, hear me out. Noob corner is available. I was, oh, dude, I wanted this so bad, but wait. Like, I was completely tunneling. Scandinavia noob corner is a single part, port, point hold from Denmark. You can come out in two point Prussia and Bavaria for it. And then you have literally full noob corner. Even though these guys have a one point guard. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Somebody better not be in here. I will be furious. I want to see somebody in here with the terrible cap. <laughs> with the bottom two. Oh my god, no. This game's going to be gross. I got what the doctor ordered. Now can I win in this scenario? I don't know. I think my first turn I put everything on this three. I come up and try to do a reach around sweeper. Take this whole pocket stack on my capital. Look for Scandinavian next turn. The way the board is right now, pink and green will butt heads, right? They Like, green has to come through pink's Italy to come out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish pink could go in and see what's going on in there. All right, Chumley's going to pop out my two. Do not blame you. That's a... I, did, I don't blame him for that spot, but I, I, at the same time, I, I wanted it. I have the better spot, though. This is card blockable. By me capping here. But then he would have rolled my cap. To be honest, the actual best cap spot here here is the Alps, I think. Because then you can go through Bavaria or Venice. But actually, oh my god, Bavaria and Trias. Hear me out. If if somebody owns the entire noob corner down to Eastern Europe and has Prussia, and then they also own Spain and France and Italy all the way to Trieste, or even Venice. You could sit on the Venice capital and stack Prussia and own all of this. Blue's capitals in Spain, baby! Oh! Yes, yes! The Fiesta! I chose the right side of the blizzards. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, I chose the right side. We are on the right side of history today, folks. Oh, man. What did Orange even go for? He started with six. He's down here. He might... Oh, wait. So, one, two, three... Terrible cap positions screwed over here. Orange is probably in the bottom. Where's black? Russia? Orange may be Russia Orient or Orient. Black may be... Like, any of the outer orange and black are going to have a lot. If nobody's in here, it is absolutely daddy time. Might need good dice in case there's a three stack back there. Oh? Oh my god, just ones? I mean, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. For me... For me? <laughs> yes, we started with the dude card. As is standard for the channel. Let's see what Black's doing. Where's he? We're reading the fog. He's done one attack. Two attacks. He's rolling a three on one. So he's done six attacks. And the last one was a three on one. He's... Yeah, it looks like he's going for Russia. We saw the Fortify. That's what I wanted to see. The only part of black we saw was his three stack. And if he was down here, he wouldn't have done this Fortify probably. So it looks like he's doing some Russia stuff. So I think orange is down here. Orange started with seven. So he's got a lot of territory, I think. But not two capitals. Because like it, whoever's Captain Benghazi does have the plus six of West Africa behind their capital. Pink does hold Italy. Got a bottle of water with some pre-workout in it. Blue raspberry. 
These blizzards don't get me pumped up. Pre-workout's gonna do it for me. Now, I think the best play for me here is to come off the one in Finland, go to Stockholm, look at the stack in Denmark, whatever's there, probably hit Denmark and then up, up, and fortify the remainder of the stack to Denmark. And then I'll start trying to come out. I'm gonna leave my cap with an eight. I'm not gonna come off of the capital. Now, green, green started with five because blue did not let him hold. And blue started with six because green did not let him hold. So green's capital and gas, wait, how did green not hold? Pink didn't let him hold? Green started with five, but he, so he still had his capital. So green took this, but then didn't get to hold it. So pink broke him or someone else came through Bavaria to break him? I guess pink broke him. Pink probably used it to break him. And then also, blue didn't hold this bonus in Spain because it looks like somebody broke him. Now, if blue bots and comes off his cap somehow, green will get to take out uh, blue out of this pocket. And then he'll have the double caps with the bonuses. I think pink's going to be, like, they're going to be fighting a lot while I'm not getting contested at all. Okay, we're going to do our little move. Okay. Start moving out this way. Green's got his own problems in here. You don't get to hold Eastern Europe. That's mine to come out and do. I want to do a reach around sweep here. Depending, I like I don't also like I don't want to fight pink, but if I can get a really big stack here, prepared for when pink, green, and blue all go to war, and I take them, oh my god, can you imagine the possibilities of my position? Can you see that happening in the next 10 to 15, 20 minutes? Because I do. Pink gets five. This Italy also got broken. He's going to come off his capital. Thing is, if he came off and never fortified back to his cap, I would be the only one that sees it. Me and green would be the only ones that see it. Orange and black, blue, nobody's out here to see this. Green bought it. Green started with three and bought it. Pink took his thing. Pink took his thing. Does blue go in though? Because I can come. Oh, blue gets 12. He's got the bonus and the cap. Wait, does he have double cap? 12 would mean double cap, right? 12 would mean the double cap because 4 for the bonus plus his normal 5 would be uh, 9. And then if he happens to have enough territories, it would be 10. And then a double cap would be the 12. Because 1 cap. And normal troops is five, and then four for the bonus. So how does he get three more troops? He must have a cap and enough territories. So he had to have taken green's cap. Wait, are you a bot? What is happening? Then what is pink doing with a five cap here? I have to yoink pink's capital, I think. I think it's time to yoink her dog's cap. Because what do I... I can come off the four and come all the way in, or just hit it off the one. I could just hit it off the one. 16. Is 17 on 5 100%? Let me check my, my little uh, thing. 5, uh, 15 is 100%. So, so I'm going to actually do this and this. So I can bring this over to fortify onto it. Yeah, 14 attacking. Great dice. And I can bring that over. Oh, I lost a troop, so it didn't end up being worth it anyways, but whatever. Now pink's in trouble. Oh my god, this position, dude. <laughs> Did blue bot? Imagine blue bought it in this? Oh, can I get the whole corner? Snowball time! Oh my god, come on. Let me have a beautiful game today. Let me have a beautiful game. 17 for orange, 12 for black. These guys are monster size right now. So black has Orient and Russia, and orange has Africa, and Africa is my guess. So I also, did he bought? Yeah, now orange is also bought it. 
Darts with three, he's botted. Green's now botted. Blue's here. Fortifies in. I mean, I'd like it to go... Like, Black's got decent guards, right? Yeah, because Black can hold from Kharkiv and Istanbul as, like, a two-point if he's friendly with Orange down here. Blue gets 11 now, so he's under 12 territories. He did get knocked out of the rest. He might only be in here. Now, the thing is, if he's full cap stacked on Gascony, like, all fortified out, and he attacks out with it as a bot, I can maybe come in Ram Dingle, steal it all, and take his cards, although they're not worth anything yet. I also have a permanent kill guard on pink behind my capital now, right? Wow. Oh my god, is blue actually leaving? No way. That is no way. There's no way that's actually a real a real situation we have right now. He starts with 17, so I got to be careful. this up here. Hopefully the uh, green bot doesn't break me with its trade. Holy moly. I need black. I need blue to come out because I'm not going to hit its capital. Black's hitting a bunch of stuff. Where is he hitting? 13. Didn't he start with more? 12. No. So he didn't actually have orient finished yet. Orange is now starting with 18. I wonder did he, he must have got broken here. Maybe black broke him here. He's going to come through me and break black. Or are you coming through? Are we friends? If we're friends, I love you. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna come through me. Please go into black then. I don't think so, bro. Like, what, what, what do you expect? No. Now I don't reopen that and I knock him out of here. Pink doesn't have a trade on four. Ooh. And didn't get a card! So I can farm pink. I can let it get a fifth card. And then kill it. When the time's right. Oh my god, I can play this right. Blue, but green also didn't have a trade on four. Okay, blue's officially a bot. Now the bot needs to come all the way out and feed me pink completely. I want to see that seven get popped by blue. Okay. Trade's only four. Hmm. I want to get Pink's cards after, right? Mm, that's unfortunate. So Pink can actually get a card off this, but I do have the rest of them trapped. And Pink needs a fifth card for me to want him, right? I know Pink doesn't have a trade, so I can feel secure. Green's going to trade, but it's going to be out here. It might trade against my 10. I hope not. More likely out here, I think. I broke this on Orange because he broke mine. Orange also trades first, and, and he gets the four trade. So whatever he's holding, plus the four trade on this five, is not going to hit my get through my capitals. Even if he comes into Scandi, it's okay. Like you have enough bullshit. You didn't need to do that. You could have took cards up here. Yeah, seventeen plus a four trade, twenty-one makes it twenty-six. I'm fine with that. Boss. All right, our opponents, by the way, boss from Denmark, I think. General Mensa. Uh, Mensa would insinuate you were very smart, but uh, apparently you got smoked. General Chumley from, I'm not quite sure. Blue player General Kale from Canada. And General the Fop from Spain. Funny enough, all three people in this little spot are have botted now, and I get the whole Fiesta Town. 
I am praying blue has no trade on three. Because it's going to be Laffy Taffy time, right? We kill... Where did pink get its card, by the way? I didn't see it add here, right? Is it already up here? Is it in here? Let's pay attention. Black's getting... Orange gets 17. Black gets 13. Does he not have Russia? Blue better not have a trade. Come on, doggy. No trade for blue. Nice. Now, the ideal scenario is I trade, kill blue, trade, kill pink. Trade, kill green. And there's a double trade in there. After killing pink would be a double trade. Oh, it's going on to the capital. That's annoying. We're trading. Okay, what's 100% on this? Okay, that's enough to get through. I'm gonna do the reach around this way. Please have enough to kill. Please be all of blue, honestly. It's not, so I have to come out and look. Hmm. I should have went to Gascony with that. Somebody was keeping the guard on blue, man. Pink's going to trade behind me. Maybe not, actually, if they don't. He's knocking Orange's position out of here. Okay. Two three caps. Like, somebody comes through with a, an eight or something. He hits the first one. Doesn't get through both, though. He says, well played. It's like this. Hmm. Trade on three for me? No. That's unfortunate. Does orange go back into black or into me? He goes back into black. Oh no, he goes into me. He he makes sure he breaks this and then also comes into me. Yeah, go all the way up. Keep going up, because then you're yeah, or split. Uh, I mean by the time he gets here. Seven on three is not great for cap. It could be six on three. No, he got good dice. Good, thank you. Uh, annoying orange player. It's fine though. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose Gascony now. Gascony, I need to hold for certain. Pink trades behind me. Was that all he had? How did he get a fifth card then? He must have took a card and then Green actually knocked off where he, where he was getting his card. Like if I had six or seven more seconds, I would have killed Pink out of here. But it was beeping, so I brought my six back. And I should have brought it here, but I I, I ended up living, surviving with that. So I have Pink's two cards whenever I want them. I could take them now. It's not really worth. Uh, Pink can't trade. No, sorry. Orange can trade. Orange could trade, so I don't know. That's a little dangerous. How many troops do I actually get? I get a lot. So I can probably hit a bunch of this back and stack these capitals in a way that Orange can't kill me with a trade. Seventeen and a trade. Does he actually go for that? I think Gascony's. Ah, oh, it's tough, right? For my fortify. Seventeen and twenty-seven. Do this. I have a trade on four. Black's trading. His beef seems to be with orange, right? He's got 13 still. I still got 23, even with orange breaking all of that. That is insane. Also, the reason I only stopped here. Oh, he got blue. Nice. I'll hit him with a well played. 
So the reason I stopped like this is because Orange can't just stack in one spot, roll and then split. He has to do a separate splits. And he doesn't know how, and, and it'll be more complicated. Which way do I split how many, right? Or he only stacks in one spot quickly and he goes one direction and the other direction's fine. I think, like, depending how he plays, this m gives me a bit better chance of holding one of the sides. Like, maybe he full commits to one side, 18 plus a trade, and comes all in on one side. I have four capitals. Yeah, he's going to go 30. Because blue, all, black also traded. So 30 plus the 18 is a lot. 58, or, that's, or 48, sorry. And he's not pointed at me, daddy time. Unless he comes into Italy and takes the pink bot out, which wouldn't trigger another trade. Black says good luck. Oh, and devil face. Good luck, devil face. No, no. Pink's going to stay. I should give pink a third card. I think now is the time I trade, I give pink a third card. Oh my god. Yeah, because orange can't trade. Oh. And I'm not letting pink get a fourth card because every time I try to farm a bot and I let it get a fourth card, it always trades on three. Trust me, I know you guys know by now. Wait, green's a bot too. Started with 11. It's got Eastern Europe. Okay. This is good because I can actually hit the pink bot without him seeing that. I will trade just to like guarantee hold my stuff better. Like a 25. 25. No, uh, yeah, only black can really trade, right? 71. Let's roll this. Yeah. We're going to make sure. Pink gets one more card. I have a wild. Pink gets a third card. I kill it. I get a trade again. Can I do that and chain that into... So, Pink's going to get a third... Watch this. Black may trade. No, it doesn't. Orange gets a third card. How much is Black and Orange fighting? I might win the game right now. I might win the game right now. Because Orange gets a third card. Pink gets a third card. Oh, he's going to come right into me? Okay, don't split. Nice. Right into my 27. Perfect. Orange gets a third card. Still starts with 17, so Black actually didn't destroy him there. Wait, is he going to go the other way now? Are they going to team on me because of my position or no? Or is he hitting Black? He's wondering if Black hit this capital. He's coming to look, and then he'll see it, won't ha it didn't happen. And now he can't break my top. So I was going to say, if Black ramdingled Orange, which he didn't, Orange gets a third card, pink a third card, green a third card. I'm going to kill pink, trigger a trade, kill green, trigger a trade, kill black or orange. He leaves us 14 in there? Interesting. Green starts with 7. So it's got a lot of territory. Oh, it's got this bonus, not this one. I think I get, I think I get green and pink here. I gotta worry about orange trading and trying to take... Th like, this Gascony cat is such a... Both of these capitals are, like, heat seeker missiles for, like, I definitely need to have this capital. But I also need Venice for later game, right? So what do I do? What is the trade? It's 40. 40 plus 17 is 70-something? 70 50's fine. Trigger a trade. Don't use my wild, I hope, please. <laughs> the bot had a trade on three. Would you guys look at that? I, I know you guys are mind blown that that's true, but I mean, of course it is. Got him. Okay. I also get to hold it again. Hmm. Hmm. 
45 or 5th. 45 is probably fine that they won't hit it. 55. Hmm. How close to death is orange? Not a lot, right? Okay. Now I see the board, right? I have a trade. I do have a trade on three because my wild, right? He's got a 80 off cap and a 32 on cap. Trade's only 50. He's going to come through break a lot, which is fine. So we're in the three-player game. I think both opponents are probably pretty good. I have the god side of the board, but three capitals is hard to hold. So I'm going to give Orange a fist bump. I would love an opportunity to kill Black. I wonder if he fortifies back to camp or he comes to Orient here. He's got a very weak cap, so it didn't... Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if he went right back to cap. He's, yeah, Orange is going to break me instead. Am I getting tag team now? Oh, no. Not a two on one. Because I have a good position? Interesting. Well, obviously, Orange, I'm just going to knock you out of these positions then. Okay, you opened my capital. Cool. Where does the 14 go? Where does the 6 go? Where? What does the fox say? Okay, do I have a trade? We'll keep them my wild. They're both trading now and going in immediately. This could be a two-on-one situ situation. Like, I am in the god position, so if they both go in on me hard, that's not... I I've got good enough caps to withstand a 75 bit or whatever, right? It's going looking, though. That's a terrible dice roll, dude. Good. That helps. Get a minus three. Good. That helps, too. Back off. Go away. That's good. You've now lost seven to my two. Oh, that was a good roll for you. Manualing my caps was not smart. Bro, we should be card blocking orange. You know how easy orange is to card block? You literally take Benghazi and he's card blocked. You literally take Benghazi and orange is card blocked. I don't know how deep in his capital is, but you take Benghazi and knock him out of the right. Orange is card blocked. He's GG. Orange is dead. He's coming off something that's not here? Oh, he's coming in here. Yeah. They've got some allegiance. I don't like it. Unless he's going into black now, which would be great. No, he's coming up here also. And just suicides my cap. Dude, what is this allegiance going on? Black may have a trade on three. So do I need to buff this cap enough that... Well, if I just put everything here, I don't, I don't think Black can get it, right? 60 plus whatever, 20, 80? Activate troops that were not active. You do the same later. 33 and a trade. He doesn't have the trade. Good. I have to use the wild card. Unfortunate. Orange is an incredibly easy card block, but he's suiciding me right now into capitals, so... And if Black's going to slow roll my cap, he's also going to check. It's basically the same number he left it at. I mean, he saw the suicide, though. All right, two for one over and over is fine with me. Three in a row. Oh, you got a good dice roll. We're even now on this roll.
So Black's working with orange. So I understand why Black's working with orange on me. Because he doesn't feel confident beating me in a 1v1 with my position versus his. Although his position is great. He can two point, three point this half the map. The same as I can do a weird two point, right? Okay. So now what do I do? Trades are what, 65? He can make a, a 100 or something? Hmm. No sense letting you hold all this black. Oh, I opened his cap. So his cap is here. So he's not a one point from Benghazi. He's a two point from Greece and Egypt. Interesting. Oh, I got three taps at 60, basically. I do have a trade on three. The two on one's annoying. But like, I, I can I beat the two on one? He's getting 70 instead of 30 something. Yeah. What do I get? 24 even with them breaking me. Maybe I just focus on holding and that's it. I just defend, defend, defend and take cards. I'm technically a three point guard block if they really wanted to. Yeah, he came out and just looked. He's not even, he's not even full sending into me anymore. He's going to let orange do it. 12 plus this 80 is all orange has. If he trades, it's big. Okay, he didn't trade. If orange full commits and suicides me, I can kill him for his four cards. And I would love it. I mean, what's my name? Shoe size large from the Congo? I mean, what do you expect from me in this scenario? Oh, baby. Hit me. No, he doesn't. He goes right back to capital, though. Cool. I think I could trade early. I could afford to trade early. But then they could set up a card block on me. Black would get 65 plus 20, 85. He doesn't have a stack pointed at me. He cares more about the, the noob corner than anything, it seems like. I'm not going to do anything too funky. Pull up the back of Italy. I've got three strong caps. Black doesn't have a stack pointed at me to add his, his thing on. He's devil facing. Is he going to go into orange finally? I think he's coming into me. Oh, he's got to... He, wait, his stack's open! I hope you get destroyed, dude. He's going to take Gascony. Oh, this is annoying. I didn't know he had a stack open. Oh, no, I would have traded. Lost five on a one. He's not slidering. That means my 67 might be good to destroy, like, 130. 130. Get him. He stops. That's right, chicken wuss. <laughs> That's right, chicken wuss. That was all he was packing, right? Now, in a world, could I kill Orange? 70 plus, I, I'd have like 150? I don't think so. I mean, we could check for funsies. Like, what are the odds on, on, on killing Orange here, right? I, should, I, I break this just in case. Oh, if that's not on cap, it might make it easier. 57%. I need a great dice roll to get him. <sighs> so tempting. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that was tempting. Now, Black's only uh, cap he can hit is my Italy cap. Like, kill Orange, dude. You kill Orange, the game's, like, fine. He can't even kill Orange now. Dude, Orange has a 78 stack and five cards. He's the freest kill of your life. Oh. This, like... I mean, he can't now because of this one. But, like, Orange would... Yes. No. Uh... Yes, yeah, some of you are like, take the 57% roll. 
If I lose that roll, I probably lose the game off of it. Even if I hit the 57% and win the roll, I need like 25 troops at least to be able to come over here and then also go here. But also, if Orange has to have, happens to have a five stack on Egypt, I roll that. So I roll that and I leave four here. I, I'm screwed. So I have to check the Egypt and then I'm rolling an under 50%. Like I'm just, I'm feeling it, right? He's got, he got 92 troops on top of what, 78? So he's at 170 for a stack. Oh, disgusting, disgusting, despicable. I mean, I'm holding more than these guys and I'm good with that. Now he's just retaking bonuses and chilling, right? Interesting. I don't think I ever let him hold all that. Need to make sure Orange is feeling it. Now, Black can't come through anything other than the Italy cap with his stack, right? Because I didn't open Prussia or Bavaria. Like, go ahead, break my bonuses. I He gets 24, I get 24. Even with breaking my bonuses, we get the same. Perfectly fine with that. This game could have been over, though, dude. Like, Black could have killed Orange for five cards, trade, and it would have been a worthwhile kill traded and then and then went into the 1v1 with me he's scared to 1v1 me so he's trying to play something else or he's just not capable didn't understand he had to kill an orange like he would have needed to add three troops and plan for it but like he saw how weak orange was he had to know orange was super killable even if orange and you are both hitting me you have to recognize when like it's advantageous to kill him then you've got his position you've got a two-point cap guard and orient and then you start we go to the 1v1 with, with potential oh he's opening black that's unfortunate i'd love to see you suicide me they traded on three damn it black saying oof you know suicide my cap again like how do i get these games where this is happening to me like, I just recorded a Sunday Snipes where we got into the three-player endgame, and he's getting ready to suicide me. He's only got one card. I am next to trade anyway, so why don't I just trade? Cool. Now Black's open to this, so actually... Should make this a 100. Make this a 111. Hmm. I also kind of want to make sure Black doesn't hold this. Like, he really wants that noob corner, right? Sure. And don't open this. That's fine. Like, if he wants to roll my cap with a 0% blitz, I'd rather him do that than me use the 100% blitz roll this way. I'm fine. If, if Orange wants to suicide me, Orange goes immediately before me. Whatever cards he takes and is full suicide into me, I will be able to follow him with a kill. So I think Orange's mission to suicide me and take third is going to succeed, and I will be able to accomplish first place still with that happening. Like, the, the 1v2. Let's do, let's black do it. He's got to make sure he gets in there and breaks my bonus. Got to break both those bonuses. Oh, six on three could fail. No, it doesn't. <laughs> How dare you, sir? How dare you? But now your big boy stack can't get in here again because you, uh, you took over Bavaria. All right, orange. Go on with your suicide, get it over with, and then fortify out. Even if Orange takes a second card, if he fortifies off cap, I'll kill him. Taking a card somewhere else. He's connecting. Does he pull out? Do you pull out? I'll kill you for two. He he really wants He really wants to give it to Black. 
It's 95. I only get 95 for killing him. I don't get a trade, but it'll put me a card ahead of, of black. Oh, there it is. What the hell is this? I'm wondering if they are if, I'm wondering if they are cheating, honestly. Timer needs to stop. Okay. <laughs> like, are they cheating? Honestly? I lose Italy cap, but I get this one. Black's got to do some weird splits. Like, uh, honest to God, is this cheating? Honestly? I don't know. Boss is full feeding the general the fuck. I like, I, I should report. People tell me... People tell me to do this, and then if, if it's not a collab, then... Okay, a 17 is fine. We'll see what he gets on the 46. I still hold Gascony in this position. He's going to take the corner up, but that's still easy to card block. 30... What the roll is that, bro? Loses 33 on a 46 cap? You should never get that. <clears throat> and he's setting himself up so he can get cards he's going to fortify here. He's got, what, 200, 300 troops? Okay. And, uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to also report him. Collab with Orange. I, I'm almost certain they're collabing, like, based on how this just played out. But I could I could be wrong. Um, I mean, I trade before him anyways. Now, how do we set up a card block? I can't really at the current moment. Is the trade worth? 100. Yeah, okay. So in total, he has 150, 280, 380 to my 258. He's winning by 1.5x my troops. But I could have let Orange maybe suicide me and then killed Orange. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have killed Orange. Maybe I should have let Orange suicide me. Because of turn order, it might have been better. Right? Like, maybe that was my misplay. But, like, I don't think there's that, like... That was clearly some teamwork. Whether he hates me for no reason or it's collab. Or maybe it's the same guy. Like, maybe it's the same guy, right? Make sure. I, I don't remember if I reported orange twice. Or I got either reported orange twice or I did one of them each. I'm just going to report them both to make sure I've got a report on both of them. Roll me? No, he doesn't roll the cap. Nice. Okay. He fortified back to capital. So what is this now? We just roll around the streets for a while, and then what, get bored? Hmm. He has 24. What did I get on my turn? 24. We get the same amount of troops, even with all the breaking. So we're going to hit each other back and forth. Who's going to get the card block off, though? That's my question. Like, do I trade on three and set up a card block? I can't. I need him to knock out Italy. I need to slowly start a card block on him. But there's too many big bonuses in the middle that setting up a card block is very costly. Like, my first card block will force him to hit Italy stuff. He's fortifying something. Probably bringing a bunch out of, like, this is not a good cap to hold, right? I'm still starting with 29, so perfectly fine with that.
don't open this capital. Oh, I'm behind, but if we kind of go back and forth for a few, or for like even 10 minutes, we're both going to grow so much in trades that I, me being 100 troops behind will be meaningless, right? Like, my 260 to his 390 is a big disadvantage, but if he's 130, he takes Italy? Perfect. If he's, and he traded, I'm card blocking him right now. But if he's got 130 troop advantage on me, but we're both at 15 or 1600, it means nothing. And you can go the other way too. If I have 10 troops and he has 130 troops more than me, that's very strong. This is great. This is great because uh, he's only going to be on one card. I'm going to take a second card and card block him right now. It's a big mistake. Well, depending. Um, I, I might not be able to card block if he has the 80 stack here. Do you actually open my cap? I don't think you do. No. Connect all this? No. Did he get his fortify off? I don't know. Oh shit, I didn't. Uh, maybe I can still do it. Okay. So now, how do I get him blocked, right? Thirty. I got twenty-five, 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 twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. Hmm. He gets thirty. It's too much. I need to knock more stuff out. It's so we just need to survive a bit longer, and then I'll be able to get these card blocks. If he, especially if he early trades. Coming through the 22. Okay. Meaning, if he doesn't fortify troops out, I will be able to uh, make this easier. Okay. He's going to bring a stack out now. Maybe I maybe I started the card block too early. He's going to bring a stack here. Okay. That's quite a bit. Thanks? For what? Are you going to hit all my stacks? Is that what your plan is? Okay. Don't you worry. Why are you good lucking me? <laughs> I mean, I can wait a little bit. I will expend these troops. Because he's going to hit them anyways. Good roll. Like, what are you going to do? You get 19. That was a good blitz roll. He's going to come around and leave the 19 up. Like, I'm getting cards regardless of no matter what he does. Yeah, okay, so now he can't get back here. He lost 26 on my 19 anyways. And he's losing fours on ones. Like, he's not slidering even a little bit. Like, this guy does not know how to beat me in 1v1. I'm very confident we're going to take this one down. It's a matter of time and how long. Especially if he does, like, an early trade. When the trades are big enough that I can actually constitute a card block. Yeah, he's coming out. He's going to fortify to a spot where he can get cards if I break a bunch of stuff, right? Which is fine. Hmm. What if he blocks this off, right? Let's do this. We'll come out this way just in case. <laughs> he wants to hold his Italy? Okay. Okay, bro. I'm going to take a lot of territory. Because that seems to bother him. I'm quite cool with that. I'm not going to open his capital. I will come back to cap. Uh, 
I am a big fan of my current position over this guy. He, he early trades. It's such a mistake to early trade, dude. As soon as we get bigger stacks, I need the trades to happen a few more times till they're big enough, right? Like 120 is nothing. I can make 340 stacks off that, but I have to hit a bunch of stuff first. So I hit a bunch of stuff and make 330 stacks, but he gets 30 a turn anyways. I can't block, I can't card block him like that. I also think he's the type of player where he's gonna get mad and suicide my cap at some point, right? He's already was manual rolling my cat. If he if he slammed it there after I called it, that would have been hilarious. Okay, I don't normally emote spam, but I want this guy to hate me, so. Oh. Oh. I could go hit that. The problem is I can't also break everything. Oh, if I had a trade on four, I would hit that and I would absolutely destroy him right now. A trade on four would be absolute magic. Hmm. So I can make it so the 154 can't come back out, though. That's kind of cool. So it can only hit my 26. Cool. Let's do this. Hmm. 70-70? No, there's just no... That's fine. I wanted to go check this cap. I, I ran out of time. And you, you don't want to bust too much with the slider in a 1v1 like this, because you want to take as many territories. I'm going to set up the card block. That's obviously the way to win. But when in a territory battle and you're capturing the map back and forth with somebody, um, if they're not slidering, they're going to lose fours, fives, and sixes hitting one stack, right, over and over. If you just set your slider down to, like, a, like six or eight troops, right, so if you have a six or an eight hitting every time, that's almost as good as perfect slidering. So just set your, your slider low so you don't lose six troops per hitting a one, and you just run the board from there. It hits my 26, perfectly fine. Loses 23, so it's not even a good roll. Lose the 20, the 78 here. So he's got a bunch of troops off cap here. He lost 14 on a 7. Like, this guy is a poor player. And he feels like he's winning right now, which is funny. He's got a ton of troops off capital. A ton. Slider? Oh, I still get even dice. That's unfortunate. Um, is he here or did he come in? Did he split? I think he's in if I, uh... Could leave a 30 here? We'll just go all the way. Okay, Black. Your move, Jackie Chan. <laughs> he gave me a capital because he ran out of time. You guys noticed that. I know you guys noticed he ran out off. The, he never fortified back here. When I'm narrating while the game's playing, I do miss little things like that. Obviously, if we're sitting here focused, zoned in on the game, I wouldn't have missed that. I think I'm good enough to not miss that. What's up, Blackie boy? Didn't have a trade on two? I need a trade on four. I need a trade on four big time. A dude or cavalry or a wild. We're starting to win this battle of attrition. You gotta make it all the way down. Break that bonus. Come on, boyo. Come get me. He's got a ton of troops off capital still in uh, Russia. I'm assuming they're gonna get fortified to a capital. He's got time. Yeah, he's worried about them. I hit his last stack. Oh, wait. oh, all right, that I like, I could hit that stack, and he's going to have a trade on three because he's a special boy, right? I can come off here. Oh, you're going to devil face me? Okay, bro. 94, not enough. Okay, I got to do, I got to do something a little bit different than that. That's good. You're 
welcome. He's saying thanks, but uh, do you have a trade? There we go. He's got a trade on three, right? He always has a trade on three. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I got a bad roll in his stack though, right? Did I not get a bad roll? Like if we're being honest, where was my 103 on a 115? Okay, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't like a God roll. Like you could lose 70 on that, honestly. He's not breaking shit. Oh yeah, you're getting, will see? Some people you do need to card block to end their game and if this guy was good enough to last until that stage, then I would be card blocking. We would play until the trades are big enough that I can actually card block him efficiently and have no problem with that, right? I'm hoping he has a trade on four, comes out, and then I will set up a card block now, though. I'm not going to trade. We're going to give him the old uh, tasty, tasty tuna right here. Also, what is the trade? It's 125. Does he get another god roll in these capitals? 125 plus what 16 it's like 140 80 is fine this is fine i want you to hit that capital honestly Oh, she rode for you, bub. Bring that here. You go ahead. Uh, you're going to trade now and go crazy, hit a capital, do some stupid things. I'm going to trade after and make your life uh, miserable. Good game. I'm saying good game. I hope he doesn't think that means he's won. <laughs> he's going to be on two cards after this turn. And what does he get on this cap roll? Does he go for Gascony because he thinks he's got a chance? He does! He thinks he's got a chance! Nope, split, hit the 32 instead. <gasps> yeah, Papa Teapot! Somehow I said Teapot out all that. I hold everything! Dude, overpowered position. I told you the France, Spain, you can't mess with it. I hold Spain, I hold the power. Come on, juicy boy. No? All right, all right. All right. Oh, no. Back to your capital? No, you're not going to your capital? You're going somewhere else? Okay. Cool. Uh, I've got a plan for you. We're going to do what you call the old uh, favorite thing that you're not going to enjoy. 30 here. Do I have enough to do this? 30 here. 30 here. 30 here. You don't get enough for this, right? I don't think you do. And you all 30 here. And we're gonna do this. Is that everything? That's everywhere, right? Oh, beautiful. And that's all the 30s. What's up, bro? Do you have a trade on two? Oh, 19 troops. Is that enough to get through 30? Not likely. Oh, I should have made this a little bigger. I should have brought the last fortify here. Because you could 23 on 30. It's a higher chance of getting a card. He's going to try. You better screw up. You better not get good dice, mister. It's already starting. Minus two for him. There we go. Thank you. We're even now. Oh, you love to see it. Just going to jam out to the elevator music as this goes down. Oh, what? <clears throat> That's a lot of troops, dude. That is a lot of troops. Okay. What do I do in regards to that? I know. Oh, I'm just going to have to hit it. 
My turn for good dice. Does that knock me to a 50%? Almost. One more. Oh, no. Okay. Mash, mash, mash. Oh, sixes is nice. Oh, no. Okay, we're just going to blitz. I should have just blitzed it when I was 48. Oh! That's cool. And now we're going to... Uh, make this a 40. You can get a card this turn. I, I forgive you. I have a trade now. I'm going to put it right back in. If you don't have a trade on three, you're done, kiddo. You quit yet? I can't believe I won the 22% blitz roll. I think you've had enough. Now what? Bring out a, bring out more troops. How much is that? That was a instant fortify, right? Was that fully off cap? That was fully off cap, right? Let's see. If we can feed it to him. Nope, not quite. Okay, no trade on three, please. No trade on three. <laughs> Go 146 into 187 Spartans. You don't have a chance. He doesn't know where to go. Yeah, suicide and leave. Bye. Oh, poor baby. Instant bought out, my boy. Instant bought out. That's what I'm talking about. You better believe. We are going to world dom victory. What a epic game. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Oh, I got team done. Shoe size large from the Congo. All right, out. I got team done. I got all the crazy stuff on the left side. Our opponents were. Oh my god! We had the highest skill lobby I've ever seen. Even higher skill than whatever videos above my head. Oh my god! Check this one out. I love you guys.